Hello everybody, happy Sunday, and welcome to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. So I have just turned the game on, I really don't know what to expect, I've got a weird controller here. Hey, it's a Cubone. This world is inhabited far and wide. By creatures called Pokemon. Is it just me, or does per does Professor Oak look kind of disproportionate? Like his head is too big, maybe? He kind of looks like a bobblehead. Why don't you tell me about yourself? What do you look like? Oh shit. What do you guys think? Is this me? Look at this uh, silver-haired badass, dude. That's what I wish I looked like. Let's roll this guy. Call me Hecto4. God damn it. Call me Hector. Hey, it's Pikachu. What's up, Pikachu? Oh, uh, who the f who's that guy? Oh, that's my that's that's Gary. We don't like that guy. I get to name my rival too. Who's Hector's rival? Pineapple. Yes. Obviously. His name is Pineapple. Hector, my boy. Your very own Pokemon tale is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Pikachu! I really don't know what to expect here. Is it like Pokemon Go on crack? Or is it like an actual Pokemon game? Or a hybrid? These hands. Whose hands are these? Alright, well we are, uh... We're here. In my room. Oh, the Pallet Town music is so good. Gosh darn it, it's so good. So this little pokey ball has all sorts of uh, features. It's got a little button on the top I didn't even notice until now. I don't see anything else. Like, you hit that to go to the menu, and then you can use the little stick to move around. All right, let's go get our Pikachu. Ooh. So I actually, I only played Pokemon Go like the first week it came out and never again. So I don't have any of the perks of playing Pokemon Go if there are any. Yo, there he is. Well, my good Pidgey, thanks for the help. I think I understand you all a bit better now thanks to this. I feel like in the real world, Pokemon would just maul people all the time. Oh, of course, I promised to give you and Pineapple your Pokemon, didn't I? Well, in that case, why don't we head over to... Hmm? Look at this little, uh, rascal. Oh, shit. You encountered a wild Pikachu. This is it, the moment I've waited my entire life for. Here we go. Throw your Pokeball by waving your Joy-Con. Don't forget your surroundings. Don't throw it into the TV. Uh... <laughs> Keep an eye on the rings as you throw your Pokeball and watch out, some Pokemon move. What the fuck, dude? Here we go. All natural, baby. Easy every time. Why don't you pick up that Pokeball and give the Pikachu you caught a name? What the? Yeah, I don't think that usually happens, does it? Whoa! Look at all of the options right here. Professor Oak, those Pokeballs there, I swear there were only two a second ago, but now there are three. Perfectly reasonable reaction, my boy. You see, one of them is a Pikachu that Hector just caught. Caught it yourself? <laughs> just jumping? This is so weird. Alright, well, what about the other ones? What, like, what's in what's in here? Okay, I can only take the, uh, the Pokey. <laughs> I can only take the Pikachu. It won't let me check the other ones. Oh, gosh. Why not give it a name? What? Give him a nickname? What does he, what does uh, this Pikachu look like? Kind of looks like a Larry. All right, Larry. Let's go. We're gonna do great things together. Oh, I wonder who he's gonna get, yeah. Oh, big surprise, it's an Eevee. What's in here? It contains a Pokemon. What is in that one? I wanna know. 
What is it? Tell me what's in that one. It doesn't even tell you. It doesn't tell you. It's a secret. Probably a Mewtwo, man. You got a Pokédex. All right, cool. We're ready to go. I'm ready to go into the wild. And so, Hector and Larry set off on the magical quest to fulfill the legend of becoming a Pokémon Master. Wait, you can just see the Pokémon? Okay, how do I kick his ass? Oh, you don't actually fight him, you just uh, catch him. Here we go, ready? Yes, I have to do this every time. You're mine, Pidgey. Easy. Easy. Well, I mean, he does have a level. I don't know how the uh, mechanics work in this game. I've stayed in the dark pretty much uh, about how the game works. I know it's inspired by Pokemon Go, which is just catching Pokemon. Um, so I don't know how the battling elements work, if they work at all. I mean, there are levels and stuff, so. And they have moves. Hey, it's an Oddish. Come here, dude, you can actually see the Pokemon. All right, here we go. Oh, that's harder than it looks. Too much energy, too much energy. What? A tricky little bastard. There we go. You caught an Oddish. See those ledges? It's a bit scary, but you can hop down. Yeah, whatever. Rattata, Rattata, it's a new one. Let's get him. So he doesn't like, I feel like I screwed that up massively. It's so cool how the Pokeball is like boop, boop. Bloop. This thing is making sound, it's vibrating in my hand. Yo, Larry leveled up, man. Larry grew to level six. He learned quick attack. See, we've got moves. So there must be battling in this game. This is uh, this is very nostalgic. Hey, he said something about battling. How do we battle? I wanna battle. Viridian City, dudes. Dude, is that Team Rocket? No fucking way, dude. It's Team Rocket, yo. What do you want? You can't pass through here. We're in the middle of guard duty and it's very important. Yo, it's legit Team Rocket. That's amazing. Sup, girl? Yo, how you doing? Hey, you up from Pallet Town? You must know Professor Oak, right? I got a delivery, but I can't leave the mark. Can you do it? Man, fetch work already. I'm, I'm a legendary, I'm an up and coming legendary Pokemon master. You got me doing bitch work. I'm here to buy. Pokeball, yes. How many do I have? I have 45? <laughs> what? Uh, all right, I guess I'm good on that. <laughs> okay, you can buy like all the other stuff like potions and uh, poison antidotes and heals and stuff. Well, I should have taken the warp, so now I gotta walk my slow ass all the way back to Pallet Town to deliver a package to the professor. It's actually pretty cool that you can see the uh, Pokemon. So you don't have to worry about like running back and forth until you get an encounter. And you know who you're encountering right away. Hector, back so soon, how's little Pikachu? Hmm? Hmm? Ah, my order has arrived. Thank you for bringing it. I've just been delivered some very handy items, which I think I'll share with the two of you. Raspberries. Raspberries. Great, I've been starving. I'll stop you right there, son. Those berries are for the Pokemon, not you. When you want to catch a Pokemon, try throwing one of those at your target before you take a Pokeball in hand. You'll find that wild Pokemon will be so happy to have a berry to nibble on that they'll become much easier for you to catch. You do know you can do more with Pokemon than just catch them, right? You can have battles. Yo, finally, man. Finally, here we go. You are challenged by Pokemon trainer, Pineapple. Larry, do it. Oh, yes, they have full-blown fighting in this game. Oh, I'm so happy right now, dude. I honestly didn't know if this game was even gonna have battling when I first saw it. Pikachu, I mean, wait, Larry, Thundershock. Do it. Damn, no mercy. Let's hit him with a quick attack. 
There's no way it's stronger than Thundershock, though, is it? Oh, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Oh, I used the wrong move. It's okay. It's okay. They both work. One more hit. One more hit. He used Growl. What an idiot. Who would use that? Larry's attack fell? Well, why don't I hit you with a special attack? Oh, yes. Got him. Yo, Pidgey leveled up. I didn't even use Pidgey. Pidgey learned Gust. What? What is that all about? What did I lose? So your Pokemon in the uh, reserves get EXP too, even if you don't use them. That's kind of cool. All right, so confirm the game has like actual battling, so we're good here. And again, I didn't play Pokemon Go past the first couple weeks. When I played Pokemon Go in the beginning, I don't think they had battling at all. It was just catching. You got sportswear from your friend's big sister. You put the sportswear in your clothing trunk. Try putting it on Pikachu. He can go on an adventure in matching clothes. Larry looks very happy. Partner play. Wait, what? What does this do? Play with Larry. Touch his butt. <laughs> Wait, he likes it. He likes it. He's, he's swinging at me. Oh, shit. This punk-ass bitch just challenged me to a match. Oh, hell no. You are challenged by youngster Ronnie. Ratata. Ratata, please, man. Don't even joke. I'm gonna thundershock your ass back into generation one. Dude, I paralyzed him? Nice. Pretty dark when you think about it. Like, I electrocuted him, which paralyzed him, and then electrocuted him again, and he passed out. Like, if you think about <laughs> if that actually happened to you. <laughs> Dude, Oddish is, Oddish is taking my XP. I don't, I don't want him to level up. I got three Pokeballs for winning. I already had 45. This game just gives them to you. I wanna go fight Team Rocket, dude. Wonder if they, uh, if they will acknowledge me now. Oh, they're gone. Damn it. Team Rocket is blasted off. Oh, you can actually choose which Pokemon follows you around in the main menu, but can you only have one at a time? Oh, so Pikachu will always ride on my shoulder, but I can pick a second one to follow me around. That's pretty cool. It won't let me go to the uh, the gym yet, so we're gonna have to move on. Let's go north and see what's cooking. Route two. Do -do 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 -do. Caterpie. It's a new Pokemon. Get him. Oh wait, that's a Weedle. Just kidding. I knew that. <laughs> totally knew that. Got him. I don't even have to turn my hat backwards for that guy. It's not worth it. You caught a Weedle. So, I mean, it's basically like the normal Pokemon game. It's just that you don't, like... The only people you fight are trainers. So you don't have to worry about fighting the regular Pokemon. Which is actually, you know, kind of nice, I guess. I have no idea if I'm going the right way. But I'm in the Viridian Forest. It's a trainer. Hey, do you have a big Pikachu? Is that like a pickup line? Last Joanna sent out Radita. Another one? Haha. <laughs> Tail whip? You get your ass out of my face, man. Come on. Pikachu! Shoot thunder up his butt. A critical hit. Uh. How come some of the Pokemon are, like, glowing? Like, see how that one's blue? And this one's actually a Caterpie. <laughs> the Weedle was glowing, too. It's tiny. You encountered a wild Caterpie. All right, let's use the, uh, the Raspberry. Okay. Okay. All right, now I have a basically useless Caterpie on top of my basically useless Weedle. 
Uh, yeah, the EXP sharing, I guess, is pretty good, because that was definitely a problem in the other games, where you just have one Pokemon who is, like, ten levels higher than everybody else. It's a Metapod. Oh, I think we got him. Dude, is that a Bulbasaur? Holy shit. Yo. Come here. Yes! Bulbasaur! Oh my god, it's the first Pokemon I actually want. Let's use a Raspberry. I don't want to blow this opportunity. Hat's going backwards for this one. He was just like, hell no. What? What? Join my party, you'll have a good time, I promise. Got him. All right, all right, we got Bulbasaur, sweet. Okay, we definitely need to put this Bulbasaur in our party. How do we, how do we do that? Put him in the bag? No, dude. He needs to be part of the crew. How do we do this? The bag. Bag. Go to the, the bag. Pokemon box. What do we got? Here we go. Bulbasaur. Add to party. Yeah. Get rid of any of these useless fucking dudes. Oh, here's the clothing thing. Choose an outfit for Larry. Dude, he has a hat now? Oh shit. Yeah, that's pretty good. We're like matching. You know, I dig it, I dig it. You found a tiny mushroom in a forest. What do you do? Dude, he's wearing the little outfit in battle too. All right, that's cool. <laughs> Hey, it's a, uh, what is that thing? Is that Anita, Anita Ran? Anita something? Anita Ran. Finally, a real warrior. I thought my game froze. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> it just like stood there for a second. All right, I didn't see anything else in the forest. We caught the Bulbasaur. I feel like the Bulbasaur was the big catch in this forest. Yo, you can't punk out on a battle if you're a real trainer. Let me guess, you got like a Weedle or some stupid shit? Please, kid. Kakuna? Does that thing even have moves? Can it even attack? Harden? Wow, I'm so intimidated right now. How, how hard can you get? That's the question. Will it will it be hard enough? Nope. Kakuna just couldn't get hard enough to complete the task. Wait, Larry wants to learn double kick? That sounds awesome. We need that ASAP fighting move. Um, well, we're gonna keep Tail Whip just because I feel like Tail Whip is... Uh, the ultimate disrespect move, which could come in handy. What do we have here? Oh, I'm just, I'm out of here. I feel like, you know, I completely skipped that other town. There was a gym, but it was closed, and I'll never know what was in the gym until we go back. But I have arrived at Pooter City. <laughs> Pooter City, baby. Hey, it's Pineapple. There's a Pokemon gym this way, you can battle against the gym leader. Yo, yes, let's go, let's fucking go. My rival is really nice. I feel like calling him a rival isn't even, like, fair. He said he's rooting for me. It's not a rival. That's a, that's an amigo right there. Yo, what's up, girl? Can you heal us up? All right, first time using the uh, Poke Center. It was as magical as I thought it would be. Here it is, Brock. Brock the gym leader. Yo ho ho, baby. Let's go, I am ready. I like how they just stand there like statues. The pooter gym only allows trainers who know tight matchups. There are a few types that have an advantage against gym leaders, rock type, Pokemon. But for trainers who have never challenged a gym before, we have them use either grass or water. You have to show me a grass or water type if you want to face the gym leader. What is this? Ridiculous. 
Great, that Pokemon is exactly what I wanted to see. Head on in and become a Pokemon champion. So we showed him our Bulbasaur there. But here's the, here's the thing. Okay, you can also go around those people and just go straight to the gym later. Fuck yeah. <laughs> My Pokemon are hard as a rock and have true grit determination. You're going to challenge me even knowing that you'll lose? What kind of idiot only has one type of Pokemon? This guy thinks he's gonna win. So here's the thing, the guy was like, you only can come in here if you have a water or a grass type, cause, you know, only those ones work against the rock types. Here's, here's the thing though. Larry is trained in the arts, the ancient arts of Kung Fu. His double kick smashes rocks to fucking pieces. Oh yeah. Oh. That wasn't, I, I thought it was just the one and I was like, oh God, that wasn't very good. Double kick. Get him. Mmm. Mmm. All right, Geodude is down. He's level 11 though. Like these guys are really high level. My Pikachu is only level nine and everybody else is way lower level. Bulbasaur leveled up though. We can bust him out if we need to. Onyx already? Oh fuck. You know what? Switch Pokemon. Let's uh let's sacrifice Bulbasaur to do some damage here. Oh no, it's Onyx. What level is he? 12? He's huge. Fine whip. Headbutt, no. Oh my god, it hurts. Critical hit, no. The damage! Dude, the damage. This is not fair. He got a critical hit, dude. Bulbasaur, I'm sorry, man. We couldn't have anticipated the crit. The critical hit was too much. Pidgey. Gust attack. Now. Rock throw. <laughs> oh no. We're in a little bit of trouble here, folks. For some reason, I thought flying worked against rocks, and I forgot it's the complete opposite. Larry, Larry, you're our man. If you can't do it, we are totally screwed. We're gonna heal up Larry for the big fight. This could be bad. This could be really bad. How much damage? Fair, fair. Larry, double kick. Mmm, yes. Mmm, yes. Oh, come on. I needed one more, dude. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Larry, kick that giant rock. Because that makes sense. What a battle. What a battle. You beat gym leader Brock. It seems I underestimated you. That was actually a little bit concerning. What? Caterpie is evolving. This is the most... This is gonna be the most disappointing evolution in history. Congratulations, your Caterpie is now completely useless. And he got hard. As proof of your victory, take an official Pokemon League badge, a Boulder badge. Yo, high five. With a Boulder badge, Pokemon up to level 20 with, from other trainers will listen to you. Without question. Oh, and wait, take this too. You got Headbutt from Brock. If you use a TM or technical machine, you can teach your Pokemon to move within it. A TM can be used as many times as you like, so use it on any Pokemon you want. Probably missed out on some easy XP from these trainers, but you know what? I was in the moment, and I wanted to take down the leader. I have no regrets. No regrets. Who the heck is this guy? Don't tell me, you've gotta be Hector, right? I am, that's amazing, or how did you know that? I mean, I don't think it's amazing that he knows my name, so I'm just gonna say, how did you know that? Because you look just like my Gramps said. I'm blue. This is my real rival? Guess you've earned a reward, newbie. You got five great balls from blue. This guy's nice too, why is everybody so nice? Back in my day, your rivals talked shit and beat your ass and they didn't give you anything. He's an old coot, but he's still my gram. Smell you later, newbie. 
Well, he didn't fight me. I mean, I'm sure I'll fight him later, so whatever. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video, so final thoughts. The Pokeball is weird, but it's actually kind of cool. Like, it really, it helps with the immersion. It really does. Like, I'm glad that I have it. It kind of makes the game a little more fun. Um, I'm very happy that the combat seems to be m pretty much intact. Uh, you know, gym battles, trainer battles, those are all there, so that, that's great. Catching Pokemon is a little bit different, so all you do is distract them with fruit and stuff. I'm sure that'll get a little more interesting as the game goes on. Um, but you don't have to worry about crippling them in combat before catching them anymore. So I'm actually okay with that. The EXP sharing is fine too. I don't mind that either. It's kind of convenient not to have to, you know, it was always hard to like use the shitty Pokemon to level them up. It's kind of nice that you can just have them level up automatically. All that said, I'm having a ton of fun. Um, I'll probably be streaming this, so if you want to follow me at twitch.tv slash Ryukar, you can catch me playing this probably in the near future. Uh, other shameless self-plugs, instagram.com slash Ryukar for hot cat pics, twitter.com slash Ryukar for twittery things, soundcloud.com slash Ryukar for music. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video.